G'day there, everyone. Daniel Anderson here. Now, there are two processes that I'm going to walk through today that are now out of the box and really easy for an end user or a power user to use where no code or no SharePoint consultant or no developer is required. Um, that is just their native out of the box inside of SharePoint. Now, the two things we're talking about is requesting sign off on a document, so an approval process, and also getting notified of any change of documents or new documents that are added to a document library. Uh, and I'll throw in a little bonus as well and getting reminded uh, about uh, documents maybe that are coming up for review. We're gonna have a look at that little process as well. So let's jump in and have a look. I'm in a control documents library uh, where I've got a couple of documents. I've got a couple of uh, uh, custom metadata columns. I've got department, next review date and document owner and also a status. Now, the first thing we're going to do is uh, have a look at how we can request approval. So I'm going to select a document. Now, up under automate up here, we've got the ability to request sign off. Now, that's from the command bar at the top, but I can also click the three little dots here, go to automate, and then I can click request sign off. Now, that's going to um, make a panel appear on the right hand side that will allow us, if it's the first time that this has been initiated, then it's just going to set up a few little connections for us. It'll take a little bit longer the first time, um, but then every Every time after that, these connections will be present and we can just uh, go forward and kick things off. So you can see here that we've got SharePoint connections, we've got the approvals connections, and we've got um, the notifications. So we're going to now create this uh, or create these uh, connections, and then that will allow us to use this process. So that's now creating, and now once this is done, we're going to be able to type in a user's name who we want uh, to approve this document. So I'm gonna type in Alex's name and give him a little note. Can you please review uh, and sign off? And I will run that flow. So what's gonna happen here is Alex is going to get a little notification via email uh, that I've requested a sign off for this particular document and he can review it and then take action on it. So we'll have a look at the notification uh, now from Alex's end. So let's jump over to Alex's email now and you can see that this approval has now come through um, and landed in his inbox. We've got a link to the document itself and we've also got the ability to approve or reject this request. So I'm going to approve this. Uh, all good, and I'm going to submit that now, and that process has now been completed. So no code, out of the box, directly from the SharePoint document library itself. Now we can see here, once we initiate that process, we can see that we've got a sign off status that is automatically updated once things are in process. So it was pending, that will now change to approved because Alex has now approved it and we are now all good to go. Now what you'll notice though, this document status is a metadata column. So this isn't updated. If you wanted to do that, then we'd need to extend that and make, uh, make that an automated process to then flick that over and change that to review. Now the next thing that we're going to, uh, sorry, approve. The next thing that we're going to take a look at again is something that's in the automate uh, option uh, navigation um, node here here and under rules. We can create our own rules in this document library. So if we click on create rule, you can see that we've got a few options for us. When a new file is added, we wanna be notified. So what we can do here, when a new file is added, send an email to me or we can choose other options. The document owner, who it was created by or who it was modified by. But I'm going to set this to me. I'm gonna hit create. And now whenever a new notif a file has been added, I will get an email notification um, telling me that. Now we can also have different uh, a number of different rules based on the same library. So let's say we want to uh, have a look and be notified when any documents uh, status changes to approved. So I can say, um, let's have a look at 
document status, or it could be that column that's just been created. So if I go sign off status, let's have a look at the values. So I want to, I want to notice when anything gets approved. So we're going to use this sign off status. So what we can do is have our own little rule. Uh, we'll create a rule when data in the, the sign off status changes to, we'll enter uh, a value and the value is going to be approved. We want to send an email to me or it could be one of those other options as well. So all of a sudden now we've got two automated workflows that previously we would have had to have gone to somebody to try and create one of those, whether it's using Power Automate or something like that. Now it's self-service and you can do that yourself. Now the next thing that we're going to take a look at is because we've got a next uh, a date column here we can actually set up reminders as well because one of the uh, especially in, in document libraries like this that are controlling controlled documents they've got review dates what we can do on this date column is actually set a reminder. So you can see when I hover over set reminder, I get the option to use that date column. I don't get any other column because it doesn't um, it doesn't have a date value. So I'm gonna hit next review date. Again, this is gonna um, have a panel that slides out on the right hand side. And again, it's the first time that we've initiated this particular process. So what we're going to do, I'll just hit sign in in here. These connections, we've got a green tick, we've got a green tick next to SharePoint, a green tick next to notifications, and we're now just creating this connection for this connector. We're going to hit continue, and now we can say, let's get an email reminder. I wanna go 14 days prior to the next review date. So that means now, that any 14 days prior to any uh, of these documents coming up for review, I'm going to get an email notification. Again, self-service, meaning that any user might have different requirements. They can come in here and set their own, uh, their own notifications and rules and everything like that as well. So there's a few things out of the box that you used to be able, you used to have to uh, get somebody else to do a developer or even pay a third party SharePoint consultant. Now these little things, um, now that they are self-service, just make things more efficient and you can handle things yourself. So I hope those little tips brought you some value. Thanks for watching and thanks for subscribing to the newsletter. If you haven't done so, head over to danielanderson.io, pop your email address in uh, if you're watching this on YouTube or anywhere else, uh, and then you'll get this type of these type of insights uh, uh, every week directly to your inbox. Once again, thank you. See you next time.